What works? Language, literacy and numeracy in training and assessment. What has language literacy and numeracy got to do with my role as a trainer and assessor? Registered training organisations, RTOs, should provide training, assessment and support services to learners that meet access and equity principles, maximise outcomes and meet learners' individual needs, which include language, literacy and numeracy needs. Vocational trainers and assessors are competent in their own vocational areas, but may need to learn about LLN in order to best meet learners' needs. Competent performance of vocational or technical skills also involves the need to read, write, speak and listen and to use numeracy skills. Language literacy and numeracy are built into all training packages and specifications because they form part of each job. So you can't deliver training or assess learners successfully unless you understand the language, literacy and numeracy required to do a particular job and how you will cover this is the training and assessment you do. So what do you need to do? Identify what the LLN demands are of the training specifications you deliver. Remember that these skills are built into all training packages and specifications. Identify the needs of individual learners. You can do this by using pre-training assessments or by observing learners in the learning environment. This will mean you are prepared. You can foresee difficulties in a learner's progress and so you'll be able to offer advice and provide support earlier. And this early support may also encourage the learner to have a more positive approach to the training. Because you've identified individual language literacy and numeracy needs, you will also be able to adjust your training methods and integrate language literacy and numeracy strategies into your normal training delivery. And you can also adjust and customise your training and assessment materials to match the LLN skills required on the job and in the workplace. Just finding out um, as you go, as you chat with them, the differences in, in their learning experiences um, is a big thing. I think the trainers need to do this unit because it's an excellent unit. It gives a very good fundamental framework for learning, for evaluating your training and assessment strategies, and also to be able to modify those and to learn new hints and tips on how to be a more effective trainer or a more effective assessor. And everyone needs to be upskilling all the time, but I think in particular if people don't have that as a background, uh, say a teaching background and they're a vocational trainer, I think it's an excellent base from which to get new skills. To me this was just going to be a regular class. I might have needed, I oh, thought maybe I might need to go a little bit slower, but this will be, this will be okay, but it was not okay. People would sit and smile and nod and be very nice to me and I would be nice to them, but at the end of the day, they weren't, I'd look at the work and they actually hadn't gotten it. That was not about them, that was about me, yeah. So I had to then think about, well, what do I need to change? What do I need to learn? What professional development do I need to be able to help the students succeed and for myself to develop more professionally? The support I needed was to actually um, learn how, how not to make my assessments too hard, okay, and that, and that is actually in regards to wording, in regards to um, the way I laid out the assessments, um, the expectations. I was expecting students to be at a level that they shouldn't have been at that point in time. Um, and that I should have been looking for that level at the end of the course rather than in, then at the beginning or the middle.